Hey guys, in the this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 related to the official Android 10 update from Asus for our beloved handset. So let's discuss this. So firstly by going through the build number. So it starts with QKQ1. So earlier with the Pi version it was starting with PKQ1. So this is the Android, like official build number then WW4 then 17.2017.1911.407.2019.12.23 so basically this particular build was created in the month of december 2019 with the day 23rd even we can verify the same in kernel version as well that kernel was patched on december 23rd 18 and so on apart to this google play system update is of the latest month then android security patch this is somewhat bummer like they have uh, this particular security patch of 5th November 2019 but that's not a problem because this is a very initial build and most probably by the end of February 2020 we will be getting the updated uh, like build from the of, uh, ASUS itself or related to Android 10 so let me confirm you that as well although you all are familiar about this but just for the first from the first looks perspective now let's discuss few things in the quick setting so I really like this that they haven't uh, like uh, overwhelmed us by giving us lot of settings again with the with respect to pixel experience it is providing us the streamlined quick settings so all in all everything is working I have already tested screen casting, bluetooth, torch, Wi-Fi, mobile data, aeroplane mode and so on everything is working absolutely fine the best thing is this dark theme so finally we got the overall system wide dark theme so you can see if I'll go you can view at like and at any point of time if I'll be going anywhere I'll be seeing each and every bit in the dark mode itself so finally we have got the desired thing then apart to this gesture so again I have just moved to settings and system inside that gesture so by default I have just selected uh, two button you can use three button if you are have like uh, if you are habitual about them if you are habitual regarding two button then two button but the best part in Android 10 is gesture based navigation if you want to move back you just have to drag it like this again like this and you will move to the desired screens or whatsoever options you are accessing now in the custom rooms you might have seen that you can change the uh, icon shapes and so on so far in this particular room you have to turn on the developer option and it is quite easy you just have to go to about section and inside that uh, just move to the build number and tap 7 to 8 time and afterward it will say is that you, have, you are now a developer and so on again like this way no need you are a developer <clears throat> so afterward it will be available under system then developer options and for and after that you just have to move to the very below and you will find these themings so firstly device default uh, accent color let me change it to maybe green so now you have seen that this particular uh, like accent color is green even it has been throughout in these settings or I would say quick settings. Now let's see the uh, font. So by default it is a, a default font like if I will change Noto Serif or Source Serif th then the font is, has also been changed. This is also very nice. Icon shape. So let me show you by default it is device default. <clears throat> I will be just tapping here afterward if I will change tier drop. Now you will see tier drop and afterward if, if I'll do square then those will be in square so all in all everything is working fine yeah we know that this is this will always be available in developer option because this is a stock android feel it is not a customized and uh, like the like the custom room maybe ASUS will provide us but I am not sure about this now let's discuss about the camera to API although I can't be assure you yet at this moment that whether the camera to API is directly uh, provided by ASUS out of the box or not because earlier when I was in a custom room uh, it was already like uh, enabled so it's I, I, at this moment I can't assure you or I'm not sure whether it is uh, like by default enabled by ASUS or not so I'll again try this by whenever I'll be creating an installation video and I'll disable it in my custom room and I'll again flash it and if it will be available then I'll surely uh, convey to you but apart of this as it is showing camera to API most probably it is because of my previous custom room apart of this DRM info so it, it, it is somewhat bummer like uh, security level or wideband certificate security level is L3 so hopefully it will be resolved in the coming update there is no uh, like big pinpoint in here 
and a part to this let's discuss about the camera so all in all camera ui has been changed so now you can view all the new camera ui interface so firstly now these these are the changes where you can select hdr port air, portrait landscape and so on but i have clicked few few photos but i don't think the clarity is good uh, as compared to the earlier stock camera on pi or oreo so most probably these these things will also be rectified but whenever you will be installing this you will be reviewing this part do let us know your feedback and we'll surely try if there will be any patches or if there will be any upgrade updates then we'll surely uh, create a video on this and i will try to help you as well apart to this i have already installed the gcam 7 version and it is working absolutely fine except the slow motion now let's discuss about the some of the benchmarks so so these are basically the enter to benchmarks so these are the overall 1,51,708 afterward these are the segregation in cpu gpu memory management and ux so all in all these are almost the same like the version 060 so there is no much difference because again this is the initial build so we can't uh, like we won't be able to find the overall stability at this moment but again if you have been curious to test about the new uh, official android 10 update then you can surely uh, look into this and these are the geekbench 4 scores so these are the single core score 1334 then these are the multi core score that is 4913 again the same as compared to the version uh, 060 hardly a difference of 5 to 10 not more than that and this is the render script score or i would say compute score in the geekbench 4 uh, paradigm 4195 uh, these are the geekbench 5 scores where single core score is uh, showing 280 multi core score is showing 1243 and uh, apart to this compute score again compute is on the basis of two different api one is vulkan api and other is open cl so in vulkan api it is showing 154 in OpenCL, it is showing 432. Again, with respect to version 060, hardly a difference of two to three values, not more than that. So at this moment, I can't uh, provide you the uh, description, uh, like the overall demo regarding the RAM management and so, because it will surely take time to review at my side. So I'll try my level best to create further videos on this particular build itself so that you can find it useful at your end. So all in all, this was all from our side related to the official Android 10 update from ASUS for our beloved handset that is ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.